Are you ready to go drifting? Are you ready? Or are you staying here? Alright, she's all loaded up. I can't actually believe we're getting up this early on our Christmas holidays. It's all in good spirits. Yeah? Yeah, fun. Ugh. I don't even dare turn the camera around on to meet you. Right. You'll take off. Oh, God. Well then, gang, I guess it is just not my day today. Uh, we got to Watergrass Hill nice and early, lovely jobly, unloaded the car, took her for a spin, and now I have managed to destroy what feels like second gear. So if you can... Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. To be fair, I was slightly worried when it first happened. I was like, oh my God, is that my engine rattling? But actually, no, it's not, thank God. It's just a gearbox. So that is the third gearbox that I've blown in this car now. So I think, ah, look, it's the, it's the 31st of December. I think we've now seriously got to look at an upgrade. Look, I'm driving the car on. I'm driving it harder than I've ever driven it before. Really getting into my chase now with, with all the lads. Like it's been great to sort of get out there. I mean, there's trains of us. We're all sort of out there driving together and it gets a little bit hectic at times, but it's also making me up my game and push the car harder. So which is exactly what happened. I came down into the second hairpin here and I was in second gear. I was coming in on the handbrake and as I let out the clutch and the handbrake and got back on the power, um, yeah, second gear just went Poof. But do you know what? I can't be mad at it because you never know with these things. James always says to me, he's like, look, you could go out there, do one lap or you could do 50. You, it, if it's going to go, it's going to go at some point. So now we are in, I guess, shopping mode. Is it really shopping mode? Got a couple of options, BMW box, 350Z box. Uh, and maybe even go to sequential because I feel like if I get a sequential is I always like to sort of buy once and then I always like to buy good and then you don't have to buy again and I feel like with sequential you do kind of do that because it means if I decide to a power upgrade or anything like that later on I do have that option well, I'm probably gonna jump into James's 335 now now it's got wise fab so this is gonna be a totally new experience for me so we'll see how that gets on so I'm gonna still make a video not to bother it's one of them ones gonna practice radical acceptance on that one it is what it is let's just try out a different card let's see what the 335 is like let's see if what let's see if I can actually handle wise fab or am I just gonna spend the rest of the afternoon doing pirouette who knows we'll see I just pushed him like first gear second gear but you're bullying people I'm not today. bullying, it's, you are it, bullying. It, it, he loves it. Alex's car is had a few little... Huh? No, I put him in my little knocks. Of course, of the last few different days, isn't it, Alex? It's been through the wires now, but it's a good crack. <laughs> good crack. Oh, no. I mean, that, that'll, that'll, pop, that'll pop, polish out. Pull out. That ain't. <laughs> Cars, I swear to God, they just get wrecked. So I'm gonna go jump in the 335. This will be an interesting experiment. See how this goes. I feel a bit more sat down low in the car, so it's a bit of a new driving position, but lot, I'm just gonna go out there and just see what it feels like. I've got loads more lock than I would have before because it's got wise fab on it, so we'll see how it feels. Maybe I'll end up liking wise fab. Yeah, it's uh it's definitely very different on a BMW compared to a Nissan. So a bit slower to move and more twitchy. Okay. But you just need to be very smooth and you'll feel it out. Okay. There's loads of angles, so okay. I don't think you'll spin. Okay. Just have fun. Okay. You have four or five laps to enjoy ah. it and then you can go for another few after. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> well, lads. At least in this car it's really quiet, so I can actually talk to you whilst I'm driving. Oh, so I won't lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, but, look, do you know what? We'll give it a go and see what happens. Let's just try and keep it between the lines. As they say, are we going yet? Oh no, I'm a little bit premature. I think it's just the nerves kicking in. God, I haven't actually felt nervous driving for ages. I don't mind it when it's in my own car because I know how it reacts and stuff. Oh God, here we go. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's go.
big. again so I was wearing James's helmet because it has the better helmet mount on the front so it's easier for you guys to see and as I was coming around the corner the helmet was slipping like the front of the helmet was slipping down over my eyes and I couldn't I couldn't fucking see so I had to come in so I missed my slot like a little bit but uh, do you know what like the car felt great for the first time driving it really nice and smooth um so yeah we're gonna go out and have another go hopefully this camera angle works well like, for you guys but yeah <laughs> Maybe this time I can actually see. You know, not like you need to see or anything like that, it's grand. Oh, it's nice to have a little bit of moral support. It's nice. I see. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. I see it's nice having a bit of moral support when you're a bit nervous. Yeah, so I said, it's my car. You don't have to worry about crashing it, breaking it, fixing it. <laughs> you just enjoy it. Okay. All right? Yeah. Send up. don't be afraid. Yeah, it was absolutely hatchet out there. Every time I turned a corner, I was like, oh my God. All I want to do is one, clean lap, get around the track, and then I can come in and just be like, right, okay, drove it, had a lovely time. Thank you very much. But right now, I'm just like, oh. Right, we go again. We go again. Hopefully James isn't missing his car too much. I feel guilty because I know he wants to drive, but we'll give it, we'll give it a best shot. Right, okay, let's go for one good take. Um, through the tires. I always get worried that I'm going to hit these. Yeah, nice, lovely. Try and get it a little bit wider here so you can just extend the drift. I give up. Oh. I literally tried to give him as much room as possible. Right, that's me done for the day. For sake.
and he came straight over and apologised and I was just like, Ugh! like embarrassed because everybody has seen it. I tried to stop, I couldn't stop. It's one of those, I never wanted to end up uh, breaking James's car. But thankfully it didn't split the rad, it didn't let the engine overheat. So apart from a bit of a smashed in bumper bar and the front bumper is fairly wrecked, uh, the car's good to go. So it wasn't as bad as I initially thought. I've watched the clip over about a hundred times now and I'm like, should I have gotten a handbrake? But you know when you're just like, uh oh, oh my God, you're in like tunnel vision. I got on the brakes and I just sort of was like, this is happening. But look, one of those ones, we'll get over it. We'll get the car moving again. Looking for a new gearbox now. Haven't decided what I'm gonna get. On a happier note, the prints are now live. If you get yourselves onto the website, I'm gonna put the link in the description below. You can either pick one up or two up as a bundle. Um, they will all be signed. Uh, what I will do is if you do buy one, message me on Instagram. Uh, if you wanted to have a special note put in there for somebody, I will make sure that happens. As I said, anybody who supports me on this journey, absolutely 110. Love it, thank you so much. I am super, super appreciative of it. So yeah, guys, hit the link in the description below. Thank you so much for the support as always, and I'll see you in the next video in a couple of days. Bye.